Okay, so here is a little preamble video on a review I'm going to do for this um, Spyderco Tropin. And this Tropin just came in today from White Mountain Knives. Thanks for the speedy delivery, Justin. And it's going to go out to BJ Hill down in Virginia to uh, Hilltop Knives. I believe he calls himself Hilltop Knives, for a mod. And what's that mod going to be? Well, this is a fresh out of the box tropin. And I'm sure you've seen this on YouTube before, on other channels and other reviewers. There's the problem. There's the blade exposed through the compression lock opening on this Spyderco. Uh, compression locks usually a very good thing but a blade that's in that recess there that can potentially bite you when you reach your hand in your pocket or elsewhere is a whole other matter so what BJ is going to do is he is going to relieve a good amount of this blade from this area, giving me a finger choil, useful finger choil, while at the same time eliminating that blade in the closed position from being exposed uh, in the compression lock opening. Additionally, he is going to put a mirror edge on it, which um, I have seen on uh, Lev Them Knives video is a beautiful thing. So. Uh, Looking forward to that. Um, I feel the, the cost is very reasonable. Uh, I'm not going to mention any costs here. You can let BJ quote you. But this tropin is going down to him today, and I hope to get it back sometime next week. He's uh, currently got a two to three day turnaround time. So stay tuned for the next piece of this video, which in editing time is going to be nap of the fingers. Take care y'all. Okay, drum roll please. So, my tropin came back to me today in the mail with a incredible, must have been four day turnaround, including the mailing with uh, B.J. Hill of uh, Hilltop Knives and Gear. And my tropin is back. But the tropin ain't what it used to be. It's transformed. I got to tell you, the tropin, when I first saw it in my local gun store, it was a beautiful knife. And I wanted it. Went back, researched a little bit, looked at it. And I hadn't noticed in the store the more or less fatal flaw, which was the blade sticking through the cutout in the handle where the compression lock is. So let's do a reveal for you. Here is the newly modded shape. Notice, put your finger in there, nothing's going to cut you. The heel of that blade is not sticking out. And this is just satin smooth in here. When he cut it, he refinished it so that the finish pretty much matches the spine of the blade as it came from the factory from Spyderco. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Take a look, see? So you see, right in here, we've got a choil. And that is a useful feature, as well as a safety feature. So when it's open, you've got a Nice cutout right here. Big choil area. You can choke way up on that knife. Feels very comfortable. 
Yeah, the flipper, the the, uh, the uh, wave feature here, it'll poke you a little bit, but I mean, you can stay back here and still use that choil, right? When you close a compression lock, it'll drop on you, but not on you. Because, and I keep thinking this is a liner lock, so. Going to take maybe a little bit of breaking in. It's a brand new knife. Or a little bit of um, KPL. But there you have the new and wonderfully revised Tropen. Modified by BJ Hill, Hilltop Knives. Check them out on Instagram. And you're going to see some stills up there on Instagram as well. Let's uh, do our normal comparison here in case you're not familiar with the Tropen. This is really more about the mod than it is about the knife. You can find reviews on the knife. There it is again, the so Griptilian. It is a larger, almost four inch blade. And I just knocked my background out of the picture. Here we are with the Rat 1. Slightly larger than the Rat 1 even. And if we were to compare the blades, oh yeah. We got about three quarters of an inch longer on the blade. And if I can get around this side and grab it. Here is the Benchmade Freak. And the Freak is a smaller knife as well. May as well give you some measurements. In case you're unfamiliar with the Tropen, beautiful knife. Um, street price seems to be about 200 But if you go out to White Mountain Knives or a seller that offers, say, 10% discount, you can get them for a little less. So, yeah, we've got better than f well, four inches to the handle. Yep. Cutting edge now is reduced somewhat. Ooh, about three, somewhat shy of three and three quarters, three and five eighths. Overall, nine and an eighth inches. Find the calipers here. Might as well. 0.12. Let's try it up here. Looks like we're going to get 0 0.13. 0 0.13. We'll call that the stock. Didn't plan on doing measurements, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. So while we got it out here, let's take a look at the weight. since we've done all the other comparisons. Beautiful micarta handle on this knife. A little on the slippery side, but it's kind of a so-called gentleman's EDC. We've got 4.06 ounces. It's probably a skosh lighter than it was before because we're missing a little blade material. So we'll call it four ounces. It is now, and was then, a light knife. Excellent action on it. Like I say, it's smooth. Not 100% drop shutting. Because uh, one, of the <clears throat> one of the things about the compression lock is when you stick your finger in there and leave it there, you are going to get hit by the guard or the flipper. But better that than the blade, right? 
it would be ahead of the blade anyway, even in the old configuration. Well, let's get one more look at it before we go. Spyderco Tropin, modded by BJ Hill of Hilltop Knives and Gear. Shout out to you, BJ. Excellent job. Highly recommended. If you like this video, please do so. And please subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out. Okay, you know, <clears throat> so I was so excited about the modification on this knife and the, uh, the work on the choil area that I did mention in the first segment that BJ put a mirror edge on this tropin, and he certainly did. A beautiful mirror edge. So a little plus factor there. And I would like to demo that mirror edge. It's more my technique than the edge. So that S30V now is just crazy sharp. Beautiful, symmetrical bevel there. He, I believe he followed the factory edge. So there you go. Tropin not only carries well, uses well, it cuts well. As Doug Markaita would say, it will cut. Thank you, Doug.